Hey guys, Angry Guy here, and today I want to discuss with you why you are undervaluing your achievements and what you have to offer. So I'm going to talk about my own personal experiences. And I will tell you one of my biggest regrets going forward is that I charged too little for the things that I've done in the past. For example, if I actually go into counseling and start charging for hourly sessions for uh, therapy, I'm going to charge $300 to $500 an hour. All right? And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I have a specific niche and I have specific experience. I've got a lot of education, actually. I've got two masters under my belt, almost a doctorate, and I've and I've actually studied multiple different subjects at the graduate level. Like literally I've studied counseling at the graduate level. I've studied, I've, I've done so many different things and I'm just explaining this to you, all right? All of those things go into who you are and what you have to offer. I look at the work I do with cryptocurrency and for example, at the time I'm making this video for you, I'm, I've been working on a new cryptocurrency course and one section, one lesson in the course has taken me about almost four hours. Four hours. It's taken me almost four hours to complete one lesson in the new course. Four hours. Okay? So you have to think about how exhausting that is, but how much your time is worth. Your time is valuable, okay? And I respect everyone's time. And that's the reason why people pay for online courses, because someone has actually taken the time to teach them the things that they would end up having to learn on their own, all right? In life, you need to be able to say to people, pay me. Don't undervalue yourself. All right. Don't undervalue yourself. Don't undervalue your accomplishments. Don't be cheap. I'm just saying that right now. Don't be cheap. I remember when I was getting paid, when I was doing online streaming and I was accepting donations and I felt if people wanted to add additional time to the clock, it was a dollar a minute. And there were people who were saying, oh, that's too much. For the first hour, it was a dollar a minute. The first hour was a dollar a minute. And uh, everything after the first, the second hour, it went up to $2 a minute. Third hour, $3 a minute. Yes, you heard me right. And that's because my time is money. If you enjoy what I'm saying, if you enjoy the value that I'm giving, why should I give it away for free? And if I'm not able to monetize it, then what am I doing here? That doesn't mean that you don't give people things for free, but what you do is you give them a sample. You give them a piece, and if they want more, and very often they do, they can pay for it. And more often than not, they're more than happy to pay for it. Okay? But it's the value that you put on yourself that leads to people respecting you. You also have to know when to walk away. There are times when you have to know when to walk away. Walk away from a deal and you say, yeah, this deal isn't for me. This is this doesn't like I don't like it. Walk away from it. I'm being honest with you. You know, you hear stories about movie stars that turn down roles in in films. Like for example, like I don't I don't know if Keanu Reeves wasn't the first person to be cast in the Matrix or offered the role. Maybe it was Tom Cruise. But here's the thing. You know, I think about it like this, like, you know, a lot of the time, the people who were casted in these roles, they were the right person for that role. And if it had been given to someone else just based on their big name, a lot of times we wouldn't have the same film. We'd have something completely different. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got for you. But I want you to remember that you have value. Don't give away your value for free and don't underprice yourself. If you have a skill, charge good money for it, okay? Don't cheapen yourselves. 
I hope this has been valuable to you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. I remember I had this conversation with Trav once where he, he was talking about work he was doing. And uh, there was a lady who worked on the project and she, I don't know, she screwed it up. And he basically said, he told him, okay, I can fix it, but you're going to pay me. Because I told you from the very beginning not to do this. So now I'm going to fix it, but you're going to pay me. And they paid him. All right? And they paid him good. So guys, just don't forget, get yours and get it good, all right? I'm not talking about scraps. Don't work for scraps. Don't go, listen to me. Don't have a scarcity mentality, all right? Especially what we're coming with this whole depression, economic collapse coming up. Do not have a scarcity mentality. What you need to have is a abundance mentality. While everyone else is seeing scarcity, you see abundance, all right? People just sense that about you. Anyway, love God, get money, and share.